Hi, Hiroi Mahushi here from kendoguy.com. Thank you for watching. In this video, I am analyzing how Tenouchi works. And the first half is about the right handed teno, uh, right hand Tenouchi. So I'll show you in slow motion single strike and consecutive strikes and then I'll analyze it and then how the left hand works next. I'll show you slow motion videos, single strike and then I'll analyze it and also consecutive strikes and then I'll analyze it. And at the very end, I will, I will introduce scientific researches done by high-ranked senses on Tenochi. Let's analyze this. Now, as you can see, right hand is totally, totally relaxed. And here I'm exaggerating how relaxed it is. And from still relaxing, now it's right before changing the direction. Now you're going downwards. Now, right hand is pushing the shinai. Still relaxing, right? They are, all the fingers are relaxed, still relaxed. The little finger, index finger now is getting tighter. And right before the shinai hits the target, all the fingers are closed. So that's how it works. Let's analyze this consecutive strikes. Now, as you can see, pushing down and relax. All the fingers are relaxed now, still. Now, start uh, closing the uh, ring, ring finger and little finger. And then now, right before it strikes, all the fingers are closed. That means start, start it stopping the shinai. Okay, and then from here, relax again. Okay, now start pushing. All right, and then now, almost closing happening almost earlier than before because this, that it has two consecutive strikes so I'm thinking to stop earlier. Okay, this is how I grab my fingers around the shinai. Now, little finger, ring finger, middle finger and that's how I wrap my fingers around the shinai. Now let's analyze the left hand tenochi. Now it's totally relaxed. Those three fingers are relaxed and two fingers, ring finger, little finger are tight and still relaxed. Now it's changing the direction, going downwards, still relaxed. And then right before, about halfway through, I'm tightening my thumb, index finger and the middle finger. Left hand tenochi for consecutive strikes. Okay, please focus on the thumb and index finger. They are always relaxed almost all the time. For see, it's relaxed now. Right before it strikes, it tightened a little bit. Okay, that's how I am using, look at that. It's relaxed again, and this shape doesn't change. I hope these slow-mo videos and my analysis will help you uh, for uh, to learn how to do good tenochi. And, and lastly, lastly, I would I'd like to share some researches done in the past. Uh, two researches. Now, one is Kendo no Kinesiology Teki Kenkyu Tenochi Nsuite. It is the uh, Kendo's kines Kinesiological Study. Uh, regarding Tenochi. It's done by uh, Hoshikawa Tamotsu-sensei. Uh, if I'm wrong about this uh, 
names. I'm sorry, because Japanese names are very hard to read. Uh, Matsui Hideharu Sensei or Hideji Sensei, I'm not too sure. Uh, Mitsuhashi Hidezo uh, Sensei and Edo uh, Kokichi Sensei. Uh, this study is done by those senseis. And this is about Tenochi. The Tenochi is palm. This is about palm. And the advanced candorists, uh, the palms, the strength of the palms are power. The, the, the power hit the max, its maximum uh, right before the contact of your of their strike. Okay, and then at the moment of the strike, they will relax their hands. Okay, that is that's what they found out. And also they use wrist. And how they use wrist is almost like throwing the shinai. Okay, and then it's it, it's it but by uh, by using their wrist like throwing shinai, they are increasing. This will increase the velocity of shinai. That means they can maximize the strength, right? And then you maximize the uh, power right before the strike, and then. When you strike, right at the moment of strike, you relax. That creates a sai. Okay, that is the conclusion. Okay, and then uh, the other research is done by Hayashi Kunio Sensei Eighth Dan. Uh, I'm gonna share. Uh, he uses the uh, special uh, stick so they uh, he can uh, know uh, how the power, uh, how how they use how we use uh, shinai in our palms okay and his finding is that so about we know we uh, use uh elbows when big strikes we are using elbows right but smaller strikes we we use probably right elbows right elbow uh bend a little bit and extend right oops extend right the left elbow stays here stays here and then go from there Boom. Okay, uh, extended. So that is a finding. Actually, uh, probably we knew by uh, experience, but uh, he f he did it uh, scientifically. And also, uh, the important thing is because right hand is relaxed. So when you, uh, it looks like right hand pull and push the shinai which makes sense because as you can as you saw in my uh, slow-mo uh, i'm relaxed but and then you go pull and then start pushing with my palm all right and that's why right hand it has the function of pulling and pushing okay and on the other hand left hand it looks like just grab it this uh, sword. So how how he found out is because uh, the special stick could find the feel the power. So if you pull uh, the sh it has the measure measurement. So it could you can have the power here. It feels power from the underneath, and then when you strike, it pushes pushes the shinai down, right? So it feels the power uh, top side of the material. All right, that's how they measured uh, the power. But left hand, on the other hand, so one, two, right? You can see that you can measure two twice the, uh, the, the power. But the left hand, because it's here, you go almost at the same time, they, go, they can feel the uh, up and down, up and down. So it looks like almost grabbing uh, from underneath and the top. So, uh, almost simultaneously, they felt the power in the uh, on on the stick. So uh, they concluded. So left hand is pretty much grabbing uh, the shinai. Now probably uh, is I uh, my demonstration showed pretty much the same result. So I hope this uh, an analysis will help you to study your tenochi and i will introduce in a uh, practice training methods section uh you can maybe do this you can maybe do that some work some might not work for you but i've tried to throw a lot of things uh for you to learn your, your tenochi or 
improve your tenochi. Thank you for watching and I think you find this helpful. I would like to send special thanks to patrons for their constant support through patreons.com slash kendo for life.